so I know I said at the end of my last video that my next deck would be a uh, red hybrids profile. Uh, I've decided not to do that. I've decided to go ahead into EX4 and give you my shine grey list. Now it's a bit unconventional in some places and you'll see what I mean. And just as a heads up, I'm not currently running ruin mode. And that's because I don't have any. Whenever I get one, I'm planning to put it in. Maybe two. Don't know. But for now, not running it. For our eggs, nice and simple, we've got four copies of the BT-12 Coralman. Uh, this has the inherited, when one of your yellow or red teamers becomes suspended during your turn, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus a thousand DP for the turn. And that is sort of something that we're focusing on when this deck is DP minus. Uh, works very well against certain matchups, so always nice to have. We are playing this yellow base, I've seen quite a few list running at red base and it's sort of either or. Uh, I've, the reason I built yellow base was because I didn't want this deck to feel the exact same as uh, my Wargrimon deck. So yellow base it is. Now for our rookies we're starting with three copies of BT2 Agumon. Uh, this was at four, I've dropped it down to three. Uh, when attacking if you have three or more yellow tamers in play draw one. Inherited and that's not once per turn so if you're somehow able to restand uh, you can get that multiple times, but uh, this deck doesn't really do that, so can't really see that ever coming up. And we've got our main searcher for the deck. We've got four copies of BT12 Agrabah. Uh This on play, reveal the top four, add a Greymon and a Marcus. And inherited, uh, when one of your yellow or red tamers becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2000 for the turn. So it's very good for providing the DP minus and also the search capability because we don't really have anything else that searches in this deck. Uh, so finding our pieces can be a bit hard. Spoiler, we're not running Agrimonix. Up next we've got four copies of uh, EX4 Agrimon. Uh, start your main phase if you've read a yellow tamer in play, gain a memory. Which is very good for uh, effectively paying for your Marcuses for free. Uh, and inherited effect when one of your red or yellow teamers becomes suspended, draw one. So it's very good for the draw power to keep uh, getting your pieces into your hand. And um, next is kind of a weird tag, and I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but we're running with it anyway. We're running two copies of EX for Agrimon Expert. It's an Agrimon that has dinosaur in its traits. It's yellow, so it can go over the egg. Why not? Uh, opponent's turn when an opponent plays a Digimon, bury them one card at the same level from your hand, you can place it on top of your security stack face down. Which is quite a good effect, actually, against certain matchups, especially uh, the likes of Merva and stuff, where they're going to be playing Digimon basically every turn. You can get a lot of advantage off this. I still don't know about it, I quite like it, but we'll see how it goes. Up next for our champions, we are running two copies of BT2 Geogramma. Uh, and this has the effect when attacking, if you have three or more yellow teamers in play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2000 DP for the turn. Uh, so this feeds more into our DP minus strategy. Uh, and I've just dropped it down to two, because it's probably the worst Geogram we have access to. But we only have access to three, and I'm one of ten champions, so... Uh, we're running four copies of the BT12 Geogram Uh It's going to do well for two from an Agrimon and Dinosaur. Hence why we're running the Agamon Expert as well. Uh, because all of Marcus's Agamon count is that. But for some reason Agamon Expert does as well. Even though it's just Agamon in a, a, a lab coat. I don't understand this game sometimes. Uh, anyway, when did you open? If you don't have a Marcus in play, you can play one for free. Uh, which can come up quite a bit, considering your Marcuses can leave the field if they swing into security and die. Uh, so it's always nice to be able to play them for free again. And inherited, when one of your yellow or red tamers becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2000 for the turn. It's a lot better than this one because you only need to have that one suspension. And there's two different tamers in the deck that will uh, proc this, so you should be able to get it off pretty, pretty frequently. And last but not least, we've got four copies of EX4 Geogramon. And this has the same effects as the X4 Agamon. Uh, it can do well for two from an Agamon dinosaur, just like the BT12 one. And start me, and if you've a red or yellow tamer in play, gain a memory. And inherited when one of your red or yellow tamers becomes suspended, draw one. 
So this and the Agrimon uh, provide actually quite a lot of draw power for the deck, which is something that it really needed in BT12 and didn't really have. So it's pretty good. For our ultimates, we have got three copies of BT2 Rise Greymon. I still stand by this card, it is fantastic. When digivolving, you may play one yellow tamer from your hand without paying its memory cost. Any on plays don't activate. Only one of our tamers that we run in this deck has an on play effect, so that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's great to get a free tamer out and be able to build like that because this deck is quite tamer reliant. Uh, and inherited while you have three or more yellow tamers in play, the Stitch Monkey and Security Attack plus one. Just a nice effect to have. Can't complain. The next two have sort of gone back and forth on my ratios. I've got three copies of BT12 Rise Greymon, which can digivolve for three from a Geo Greymon. Uh, when digivolving, if you have a yellow or a red tamer in play, gain a memory. Uh, which is pretty good, especially if you can go and do it for free with Marcus's effect to gain memory. And all turns when one of your Digimon is del and all turns when one of your teamers is deleted, you can place a Marcus from your trash on top of your security stack face down, and it's inherited as that same effect. Which is pretty good for if you swing in with your Marcus and he dies, you get to place him back on top of your security stack so you can use him again. Very strong card. And we've got two copies of BT9 Rise Greymon X. So I'm kind of going back and forth between two of this and three of this, or three of this and two of this. Uh, but they're both very good. Uh, this one's effect, when digivolving you can free play a yellow or red teamer from your hand without paying its memory cost. Uh, and then if Rise Greymon or X antibodies in its Digivolution cards, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2k for the turn for each yellow or red teamer you have in play. Which is a really strong uh, DP minus effect, especially when you combine it with some of the other effects that this deck has to offer. And during your turn, for each chamber you have in play, it gets plus a thousand DP. Nice to have. Not a huge deal, but nice to have. Lastly, for our Megas, we have got two copies of BT2 Shine Grey One. Uh, I still think this card is really good. When dead evolving, suspend all of your yellow teamers, and for each one you suspend uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 4,000 for the turn. Uh, it's very good for going like a wide board, so for example Deep Brigade or something, if they have a wide board, this uh, is one of the only cards that doesn't force you to put all your DP minuses on the same target. This can spread them out across the board, and it's just very good for clearing wide. But if you do want to clear a tall threat, we have got three copies of BT12 Shine Greymon. Uh, when digivolving for each yellow or red teamer you have in play, one of your opponent's Digimon and all of their security get minus 3,000 for the turn. Uh, and during your turn, all of your Marcuses get plus 3k and security attack plus 1, which is a hilarious effect. So it nerfs the security, Marcus hits double. Perfect. Fantastic card. Kind of want to run a fourth one of this, but I don't currently have one, so three it is. Okay, now for the teamers, and to begin we've got our MVP. Three copies of Cody. Uh, start with main. If you have a yellow Digimon in play, gain a member. Which is very good for paying for Marcuses. Not as useful now that we have the X4 Agrimon and Geo Greymon to pay for them, but still, very strong effect to have. And when one of your Digimon with two or more colors attacks, you may suspend this tamer to give one of your opponent's Digimon minus 2000 for the turn. Marcus counts as a Digimon with two colors when it attacks, so you can always prop Cody off Marcus attacking. Pretty good. Speaking of Marcus, we have got four copies of BT12 Marcus. Uh, start with main if you have an Agrimon or Greymon in play. By paying one memory, you can treat him as a Digimon with 3000 DP that can't Digivolve. And when he becomes suspended, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a yellow card with Greymon in its name from your hand without paying the cost. This counts when attacking as well. It doesn't need to be suspended by an effect. If he swings in, you get your free Digivolve. And I think this card's going to be limited at some point. Probably next format. But for now, four copies. Perfect. And last but not least, our Memory Setter, which uh, some people find a bit contentious. Some run BT4 Marcus, but because we're running stuff that wants to have a lot of Yellow Tamers on board, 3TK. Uh, start a turn, he's your Memory Setter, and on play you can look at your security, reveal a card, and add it to your hand. If it's yellow, recover. Good all around the board. Uh, if you have one of your main key pieces in security, just grab it, put another security in, and yeah. Finally for our options, and we only run four, we have got 
Reinforcing Memory Boost, uh, limited to one. Uh, so you reveal the top two cards of your deck, place one of them on top of the security and the other into your hand, and then you can crack it for three memory. This card is busted. Really, really strong card. Uh, next we've got a another limited option. We're running one copy of Sunrise Buster. Uh, you may play a yellow or red tamer for free, and then one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 for every yellow or red tamer you have in play. Just completely insane card. Don't know how it was ever legal. Uh, it just gets ridiculous. And two copies of probably the fixed version of Sunrise Buster. Two Shining Blast. Uh, you can play a Marcus for free. And then for each yellow or red tamer you have in play, three of your opponents that you won't get minus 2,000 for the turn. They're both very good cards. This one's a bit more balanced than the fact I can only play Marcus and then it's only minus 2,000 but also hits three Digimon as opposed to the one. You can go back and forth on it, but they're both very good. So that is the list. Uh, let me know any other decks you'd like to see in the comments below and thank you for watching.